Hi everyone, I am Nitish and this is a video tutorial for kids where I will be explaining how you can make a line follower robot. Now this is an easy robot that is a very fundamental part of the robotics curriculum and beginners aged 8 and above can easily make it. So if you are a beginner and have never made a robot before, not to worry, this is a great choice for your very first robot. So without further ado, let's get right into it and see how to make it and how it works. I'll be using Avishka's Abot Advanced Kit to make this line follower robot. So these are the parts I'll be using. A metal chassis, a few other metal parts, a caster wheel, two IR sensors, two motors, axle shafts, two wheels, some connecting cables, nuts and bolts, and a programmable brake. First, let's start by building the structure of the robot. The Abot Advanced Kit comes with this chassis which makes building the structure really easy. I'll be connecting two motors on the rear first. Ensure you connect the motors using two bolts and not just one. This is a very fundamental rule of robotics that parts need to be connected at at least two points to ensure a firm joint. I keep seeing all beginner roboticists make this mistake of not using at least two bolts while connecting two parts and as a result, their designs are unstable and wobbly. So always remember this note. Then let's insert axle shaft in both the motors and lock it with axle locks on both sides so the axle doesn't come out. Now I'm going to put a filler on both the axles and insert the wheels. The filler is a very important piece here. It provides enough clearance to the wheel from the chassis and ensures it moves freely. Finally, let's lock it with another axle lock which will ensure the wheel doesn't come out. Now let's connect the caster wheel in the front with the help of these 2.5 inch U-beams. Again, ensure that you use two bolts to do the same to ensure a firm joint. Let's connect the IR sensors in the front now. And lastly, let's connect the brain on top and connect the motors and sensors to the brain. I'll be connecting the left motor to M1 port, the right motor to M2 port, the left sensor to S1 port and the right sensor to S2 port. So now the structure of our robot is ready and we can get to coding it. Before we get to coding the bot, let's understand what infrared waves are, the working of an IR sensor and the algorithm for our robot. Infrared waves are electromagnetic radiation with wavelength longer than that of visible light. Hence it is not visible to the human eye. Infrared waves require very low energy to be created and because of their long wavelength, they don't get distorted easily over a long distance. Because of these two benefits, they are used by IR sensors to detect objects and obstacles. An IR sensor is a sensor that is capable of detecting infrared rays. It has an infrared transmitter and an infrared detector. The transmitter releases an infrared wave. When that wave hits an object, it bounces back and is detected by the detector. And that is how an IR sensor is able to detect obstacles in front of it. The IR sensor returns a high state which means value greater than 350 when it detects an object. And it returns a low state which means a value of 0 or close to 0 when no object is in front of it. Now the reason an IR sensor can be used to make a black line follower is because the color black absorbs most of IR waves. So when a black object is in front of IR sensor, it interprets it as a vacuum and this property can be used in our algorithm to make the robot follow a black line. And finally, this is what our algorithm will look like. When both IR sensors are on the white surface, the bot should move forward. When the right sensor detects black line, then the bot should move towards the right. Similarly, when the left sensor detects black, then the bot should move towards the left. And finally, if both sensors detect black, that means we reach the end of the black line, then the bot should stop. Now enough with the theory. Let's get right down to it and code our robot. To code, we need to open www.avishka.cc and click on the sign in button and create an account. Once logged in, you'll see an AMS button on the top right. Select AMS AI here, which is Avishka's latest AMS version with AI capability. Select the code with Avishkar hardware option here because we are trying to program the motors and sensors. 
AMS is a block-based coding platform for kids which makes coding really easy, fun and intuitive. Let's begin by adding the My Program block. This is the main block in your code. Without this, the code will not work at all. Then let's insert this infinite loop which will ensure the code always keeps running else fundamentally the program will run once and then stop. Inside this, let's put an if else block. We need to modify this if else block and stack three more else if blocks under the if block for four different scenarios. Now let's begin by programming the robot to move straight if both the sensors are on the Y. Let's put an AND block inside the IF statement. This will help us check for two conditions. Now let's put a COMPARISON block to check the value of the IR sensor. If both sensors return values more than 350, I am programming the bot to move forward, which means M1 or the left motor should rotate anti-clockwise and M2 or the right motor should rotate clockwise. Now let's program it to move right when the right sensor detects a black line. So I'm going to say if S2, the right IR sensor is less than 350 and S1, the left IR sensor is greater than 350, then the bot should move right, which means M1 or the left motor should rotate anti-clockwise and M2 or the right motor should also rotate anti-clockwise. Now let's program it to move left when the left sensor detects a black line. So I'm going to say if S2, the right sensor is greater than 350 and S1, the left IR sensor is less than 350, then the bot should move left, which means M1 or the left motor should rotate clockwise and M2 or the right motor should also rotate clockwise. And finally, when both sensors return values less than 350, I am programming the bot to stop. One note, different IR sensors return different values when they detect a black line. In case your codes are not detecting the line with this value of 350, Try increasing or decreasing this value of 350 to 300 or to 400 or even less or more and that should solve the problem. That's it. Our code is now ready. Let's give it a name, save it, compile it and burn it. To burn, first you need to turn on the brain on your robot and also ensure you turn on the Bluetooth on your laptop. Now let's pair our laptops to the brain over Bluetooth and burn the code. Now let's go ahead and try it. Hope you enjoyed the video. In case you don't have the Avishkar Abot Advanced Robotics Kit, you can check it out using the link in the description. This is the beginner's robotics kit which comes with a bunch of metal parts, motors, sensors, nuts and bolts and a programmable brain and can be used to make up to 10 programmable robots. There is a detailed manual inside as well which will help you understand how to build and code different robots. The interesting thing about this kit is that it is a part of a much larger modular robotics design system by Avishkar. Which means even though you can only build 10 robots using this kit, you can easily upgrade to some of the more advanced robotic kits by Avishkar using their bridge kits. The parts in this kit will still be compatible with the advanced kits and you'll be able to build hundreds of many more advanced robots. So that's the end of our how to make your own line follower robot video tutorial. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our channel for more such videos and as always, hashtag dare to innovate.